some of it has prices most of it doesn't you want me to separate it out Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Oh, sir, there's a keyboard. Can I have this keyboard? Got some tackle boxes. Couple of them. What's that little guy? Yeah. Thank you to both these guys. Developing stuff in there. I can hold your hand. Lord, I'm too cool. Well, we're just gonna walk around, okay? I'm too cool, Daddy. It'll be okay. Here, 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 put your hood up. Let's walk over on this side. Do you want any of them? I saw the water, I'm going over there with her too. What is it? Look what I found. It's a pine cone. Can, can I have it? Yeah, yeah, you can have the pine cone. Can I go with mommy? Yeah, let's both go with her, okay? Let's go over there, okay? Here, I can get your pine cone. Okay, let's walk this way. Can you hold my hand? Yep. You got it, dude. Is it okay if I lay some stuff down somewhere? I'll put it in the pile. <laughs> hey, Roger. Hey, when you're done. <laughs> Okay, good job. 
Okay, let's go this way. right there buddy Those are awesome. Are you going to buy those? Watch, watch how it's awesome. See? It doesn't work. See, Daddy? It does, but it doesn't really. See, Daddy? There's uh, jigsaws. right here this one's broken off Did you in the military? These, are, yeah. these are older ones but I mean they would do the trick which one do you like better yeah. I'd get the lighter one this one's lighter I think I don't know which one is yeah this one's lighter I mean they're both craftsmen yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those are those are scary. Yeah. Hi. Hi, sissy. Okay. I don't know how much it is, but oh, I'm just I'm just making a pile. We'll figure it out at the end. Okay. What sissy? Should we get some? Two hundred some out. Three hundred sixty-five days. You pick out whatever you need. Are you really cold? Yeah. Well, that's no fun. Clamps. Oh, really? Yeah. You might, you probably got one when you... I don't know. Can you put mine? It's only 50 cents. My hoodie on. Yeah, it's dangerous. No. It couldn't hurt, right? Can, can you put my hoodie on? Just put it up when you. Yes, you when you're not using it. On, yeah. I think one of these lighter boxes, but. But what? Daddy, I need to pee. What, Elliot? I need to pee. You need to pee? Yeah. Oh, 
I'm looking. I'm looking. Where'd you come from? You've been hiding. <laughs> well, that's a that's a 3D thing. Thank you. I'm gonna look my, for myself on your video, so, man. Oh yeah, froggy flips. I'm sorry. Yeah, froggy flips yeah, on yeah, YouTube. Oh, well that's awesome. Do we have a minor? Yeah, we're good. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Are you shopping? What? Hey, Anthony. Thanks for saying hi, man. I appreciate that. I drive this van here. We're in Greenwood. Oh, really? Yeah, you might be able to come pick through. We got a warehouse in Greenwood. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're open uh, every Friday, and then if you want, you can just give us a call or a text. Okay. Or message uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Let me just take a picture of that so I don't yeah, forget. Yeah, sure. We're we'll be open today from 11 to 3. So. That's awesome. Awesome. You too, buddy. Clay. I Just a guy that recognized me. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun, right? You're going in the car? Yeah, they're really cold. Can we help you load them up real quick? Yeah, I'll come back and finish. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm really thirsty. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you.
Up. Trying to. You want a box, sir? Uh, maybe eventually here. I actually have a pile of stuff over here, and I'm ready to get a price whenever someone wants to. Do I talk to you about prices? Yeah, I'd better get Roger. Okay. Hey, Roger. You want to talk to Some of it has prices, most of it doesn't. You want me to separate it out? Oh. No. This is the only thing that puzzled me. I don't know what that's worth. Sixty for everything you said? Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. What are you thinking on this chair right here, buddy? Hold on, I'll get it in just a second. So, you thank you. I think I have one more little lot of stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, we are back in the garage. Very cool garage sale. The bad thing about a sale like that is you're definitely going to leave stuff behind because it's just piles and piles and boxes and boxes. And unless you have six hours to spend, you're going to miss stuff which I can rarely afford six hours. So I'm very excited about what I got. And I'm even more thrilled about the, I think $63 price tag for everything. So I've not even unpacked anything yet and I'm still processing stuff from my last bulk buy. So let me just kind of go through these boxes real quick and show you what we did pick up to resell. 
start with this chair here. I just thought it had a really cool look to it. No idea if it's worth anything, but for three dollars I couldn't I couldn't leave something like this behind. Grabbed a couple gun catalogs from the 80s just because you never know with catalogs. I've seen like service merchandise catalogs go for a lot of money. I doubt these are worth too much, but I went ahead and threw them in my pile. And as you saw, the, the price ended up being pretty crazy. So it didn't really even matter. Got a tackle box here. There were a few tackle boxes, but they weren't super old or, or uh, made of metal and they didn't have a ton of stuff in them. I grabbed this one because it had the most stuff in it. Probably nothing great, but there are some old bobbers and, and various tools and line and hooks and stuff like that sinkers so but it's fun to gamble on tackle boxes when you can get them for cheap because you never know what's going to be inside them sarah grabbed some tools for her new woodworking project so there's a little jigsaw this old made in japan music box just thought it had a really cool look to it and it's definitely old and it works i think i saw one recently sell that looked pretty much identical for about 35 bucks plus shipping so pretty cool this is something i recently have kind of sworn off of which is just an old rechargeable shaver these used to do pretty well, recently not so great. But I grabbed this one because it still had a pack of blades unopened and the original charger and just all that stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed it because it was it was pretty much complete and I just thought that was kind of neat. Two vintage packs of new old stock stick-on levels for campers and trailers. There were a lot of cool tools there. Most of them were so rusted out that I couldn't even see the maker's mark, so I didn't I didn't really pile them up. There's probably a lot of money to be made in those piles of tools, but I can't recognize them necessarily just without the maker's mark so so i just tried to grab a few things that i thought i could do pretty well on this is like an old i think like a pipe flaring kit or a pipe fitting kit something like that made by williams this honestly is probably one of the better finds it's a stanley professional made in usa socket set complete in the package this i honestly think since it's a 21 piece socket set i should be able to get probably more than 50 bucks for this on its own and then we got some more stuff that Sarah picked up, some various clamps, a saw, a planer. And honestly, after I've done a little bit of research, I probably should have bought all of the clamps and probably all of the planers because some of that stuff can do really well. We didn't buy this stuff to resell, but if we did, this, I mean, this would probably get our money back, which is pretty crazy to think. And of course, he might have charged a lot more if he would have seen a lot more tools. You just never know on something like that. Moving along, grab this old Indian archery 25 pound longbow. I don't think this has a lot of value, but again, just a really cool look. And a lot of times I'll, I'll just buy something because it has a cool look to it because it could be a nice wall hanger for somebody. Inside this box, an old Radio Shack touchtone phone. These are usually good for 20 bucks or so. I grabbed this wallet just because it said full grain cowhide. It's made by Prince Gardner. There's an old radio made by Carriol. Sometimes these can do pretty well. Got a couple knives that I couldn't see the maker's mark just because I thought they were cool looking. This one, I don't really know. This one I thought was very neat because of the handle. I like the striped handle. If that looks familiar to anyone, let me know because I do not know who it's made by. Got three of these Kinderman stainless steel film reels. They're all made in Germany and Kinderman's a good brand. I got three of them and they should bring okay money. Uh, whether I lot them up or sell them individually, I'm not sure yet. Bunch of various stuff in this box here. This old WC Fields How to Win at Poker. I doubt that's worth very much, but I, I just thought it had a cool look and it's from the 70s. A new old stock Micronta stopwatch. I usually do pretty well with these kind of things. There is an old Joni hand warmer. This, another very good find. This, this could actually end up doing pretty well. It's an old mail slot. And if you look up either vintage or antique mail slot, letter slot, some of them can go for pretty crazy money. So that was that was pretty neat to find that. There's a Craftsman engraver. These are old Yankee 30A screwdrivers, usually good for about 20 bucks a piece. Pretty cool to find two of them. An old straight razor, very rusted out. Doubt it'll bring too much, but I just like buying stuff like this. This, I wish I would have found the knife that goes to it because it's made by Western Cutlery, which is a great brand to look for when you're buying vintage knives. Unfortunately, this is just the sheath, so it might be a little more challenging to sell, but it's, it still should have a little bit of value. Some of these old tape measures. This one, I think, is made of leather, and it has this fabric tape inside it, which is pretty cool. And this one is also old, but it's got the steel tape inside it. This one is made by Starrett, actually. Grab this Weather Stylus Gauge. Just can't really remember exactly what it's worth, but it's called a Weather's Stylus Gauge. And then we got a big stack of yearbooks in here. Vintage yearbooks are definitely long-tail items. 
but if you can get them cheap enough and you don't mind storing them, you might as well because you can do really well on old yearbooks. These are mostly from the 30s through the 50s. I think they're all like Indiana schools. This one's from 1943 to 1944. And I just thought this one was really cool because it's like the pictures are actually pasted inside it. Like, I can't imagine the amount of work that would have went into making enough of these for a school. Granted, the schools were a lot smaller back then, but still, very, very neat piece. There's even more yearbooks. I just, I grabbed all of them that I saw, basically. And the last thing I grabbed was this old Toledo Speedway scale. It's missing this back plate here, but I mean, it was just too cool to leave behind. It's, I don't necessarily think it has a whole lot of value, but as I've said before, I've been kind of stockpiling some merchandise for when I finally get the call that my number is up for the antique booth, and I think that would make a great piece for an antique booth. Very neat looking, and like I said, I couldn't leave it behind, so I'm happy to have it. So that's everything I grabbed from that sale. Like I said, if I had had a lot more time, I would have ended up with a lot more stuff. But for 63 bucks, I cannot complain with what I brought home. But that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.